had a bit of a rejig in here. Got much more floor space. I've got a few builds coming up. So I had to throw a whole lot of stuff out. Uh, you might remember there was a workbench in that back corner there. Uh, I didn't use that much. It was just gathering stuff on top of it. So um, I pulled it apart, cut it up, and uh, made a lathe stand out of it. Um, if you look at any of the old videos where you can see the lathe, that was sitting on a rickety old wooden bench. Um, so that had to go. I'm still yet to finish it. I want to put some shelves in there and uh, fit a cooling system. Um, rearranged all the uh, vapor blasters and sand blasters at the back. Um, as you can see just outside the door there is the uh, cabinet for the extractor that I'll build to go on the sand blaster. Got a new cabinet in the build there. And uh, just a couple of things I wanted to go over. First of all, I've got a whole bunch of these. Um, they're just the normal pink tips that go on the regular guns. This type of gun. So anyone doing the, the DIY build where you use the plumbing fittings or they're trying to convert one of these. If you need a slightly larger tip on it, because the 7 mils just don't quite do it, um, I've got a whole bunch of these, these 8 mil ones. So um, if you get a hold of me, um, I'll uh, set you up for one of those. Um, as you can see, I'm running it now, the 8 mil in my one, and it uh, just frees it up a whole lot more. Um, so I just got this here. Yeah, just so you see, 8 mil. Um, I can do them in 10 mil as well if you need them in 10 mil. Um, and I can also do 10 millimeter in, oh, it gone? in the larger ones. So that's this type. So anyone who's seen the, um, the second DIY vapor blaster gun I did, the larger one, if you're using those size nozzles, I can do 8 and 10 mil on those too. Um, and the other thing is I've got an ebook ready. A few people have been asking about the ebook. Um, that goes over building um, these types of cabinets where you convert from a, a sand blaster into a vapor blaster. Um, it covers all the different types of reservoirs. Um, and also building from scrap as well. So... Um, I'll have that go up shortly. Uh, if it's ready by the time this this video goes up, then um, I will definitely uh, put a link somewhere for that as well. So um, just a bit of an update. The only other thing is I was asked again about building these. Now I'm kind of running out of time so I can't really pull it all apart, but I'll just explain it one more time. This side here is where the air comes in. You can see it tees off from the main feed. So this is just the cheap solenoid. This one here runs up to the gun, that's the air feed for the gun. The other one comes through this valve here, so you can, you can meter the, the amount of air that's going in um, to, to blow through. And then that comes straight down here, down into this T-piece. So just by gravity feed comes out of the hopper, down into the T-piece and settles around here. Now inside this, if you go have a look at my DIY uh, vapor blaster gun. This is pretty much just the same thing, but instead of having one of those pink ceramic tips and a fitting here, this just goes straight back to another brass hose barb fitting. Um, this is a three quarter or 20 millimeter one, um, and that drops all the way down to a half inch barb. So that's all that is. It's just a three quarter um, tapered pipe fitting into a half inch hose barb and then that side runs up and up through here and that's the uh, sand feed to the the nozzle but on the inside of this is uh, like a little air needle that comes through and that needle is tapered on the end and it just goes past the inlet to this so the directional flow of the air it's a lot easier especially with the venturi action happening up in the the top nozzle where it's drawing a whole lot of the sand through um, so the air comes through the inside of that needle and blows directly it, it just passes through into um, the port here that comes out into the inside of this hose barb 
Um, so that creates a low pressure zone just inside here. And all of that sand that's coming down and just resting in here by gravity is resting right up against this point here. And just that little low pressure caused by the air coming through is just enough to draw it into here. So it doesn't have to be a full blown um, air jet. And I think if you did have too much air coming through, it'd probably wear this hose out pretty quickly. So it's just enough. That's what, uh, that's what this is for. To, to drop the flow of the air down so it doesn't blast the hole on the inside of this and is just enough to help draw that sand through and then up through the pipe to the nozzle. Um, so unfortunately I don't have time to pull this apart and show it today but um, hopefully that answers the questions. Cheers.